guys, so today we're making this video to show you guys how DNA replications and protein synthesis work. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is a molecule that carries the genetic instructions used in the growth, development, functioning and reproduction of all non-living organisms and many viruses. So, why is it important for DNA to replicate and to synthesize protein? It's important because DNA replication protein allows cells to define for a living organism to grow or reproduce. Each new cell needs a DNA copy which serves as instruction on how to function as a cell and protein is a key to creation which should add. DNA replication and molecule transportation they are also key in making sure that the, the human body reaction properly to stimuli. Protein do not exist for a staying period on t of time, so they need to constantly be cre create and take in. Because of this, the protein eventually decay or export it out of the cell. If the human body did not get enough protein, then it would not be able to replicate DNA, which means that the body would not be able to hurt itself, um, reproduce, and grow at need. This is DNA. For DNA replication to happen, it has to go through a process called transcription. Transcription is a process by which the information in the strand of a particular part of DNA, or also called gene, is copied into a new molecule of messenger RNA, or also called mRNA. This process takes place in a membrane-bounded nucleus in the cell. Transcription involves four steps, which are initiation, elongation, and termination. The first step is initiation. The DNA molecule unwinds and separates to form a small open complex. RNA polymerates bind to the promoter of the template strand. Next will be elongation. This is when RNA polymerates move along the template strand, synthesizing an mRNA molecule. In prokaryotes, RNA polymerase is consisting of a number of subunits, including a transcription factor, or also called sigma factor, that recognize the promoter. In eukaryotes, there are three RNA polymerases, one, two, and three. This process includes a proofreading mechanism. The process will continue along the DNA template strain until the polymerase encounters a signal that tells it to stop or terminate transcription. In prokaryotes, the signal can take two forms, row-independent and row-dependent. After this process, the mRNA then will be transported to the cytoplasm, and there it will be translated through a process called translation, created a polypeptide chain that it will be degraded. Translation is the process through which mRNA in a cell's cytoplasm creates proteins. In translation, messenger RNA or mRNA is decoded by ribosome outside the nucleus to produce a specific amino acid chain or polypeptide. There are also three steps in translation which are initiation, elongation, and termination. And in order for this process to happen, we need these ingredients. A ribosome, an mRNA with instruction for proteins will build, an initiator tRNA carrying the first amino acid in the protein, which is methionine. During initiation, a structure called ribosome, which is the factory for the synthesis of proteins. The ribosome has a small and a large subunit and is a complex molecule composed of several ribosome RNA molecules and a number of proteins. The tRNA molecule carrying the amino acid methionine binds to what is called the start codon of the mRNA sequence. The start codon in all mRNA Molecules had the sequence of AUG and a code for methionine. Next, 
The large ribosomal subunit binds to form a completed initiation complex. After initiation, elongation will happen next. The ribosome continues to translate each codon. Each corresponding amino acid is added to a growing chain and link via a bond called polypeptide bond. Elongation continues until all of the codons are reached. Last but not least, termination will happen when the ribosome reaches a stop codon, for example, UAA, UAG, and UGA. Since there are no tRNA molecules that can recognize these codons, the ribosome recognizes that translation is complete. The new protein is then released to the cytoplasm to do its work, and the translation complex comes apart. The processes are now all complete. Keep in mind that these two processes, transcription and translation, are very important. Without these processes, our body would have no possible way to transfer the information. Therefore, there is no possible way to make proteins or to make our body function.